Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and French President Emmanuel Macron affirmed appreciation of the growing strategic relations between Bahrain and France and common keenness on further bolstering them. They stressed that those relations are based on mutual respect, trust, cooperation, common interests and a common history politically, economically, commercially and culturally. This came during a meeting at the Elysee Palace today between His Majesty the King and the French President. His Majesty the King voiced solidarity of the Kingdom of Bahrain with France after the horrible fire which engulfed the historical tower at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. He also expressed regret over losing the religious symbol and historical landmark, describing it as a major loss for all humanity. His Majesty the King thanked the French President for the invitation, praising France's history and rich human and civilizational heritage. He also lauded strong ties binding the two friendly countries and peoples, pointing out the common characteristics and shared noble values of creativity, tolerance and coexistence. Both leaders reviewed progress of bilateral work, which underlines keenness to further boost bilateral relations through the signing of many memoranda of understanding and agreements in various fields. They hailed the meetings between Bahraini and French businessmen, which yielded many agreements and commercial contracts worth more than two million billion US dollars and bring the overall value of the current and previous contracts to 4.6 billion US dollars. They recalled with pride the presence of many French traders in Bahrain in the past, pointing out the French jeweller Jacques Cartier, who visited Bahrain early last century and showed a great interest in the kingdom's pearl industry. His Majesty the King underscored the major role played by French archaeologists, who have contributed for more than four decades to uncovering the biggest part of Bahrain's archaeological monuments and their old history. Both leaders reviewed regional issues and the future of peace in the Middle East, pointing out common visions that despite all hardships, peace is imminent. They also emphasised the need for concerted efforts to handle current challenges and dangers. Discussions also showed an agreement on the importance of sustainable stability in the Arabian Gulf, which requires from the Gulf countries and their allies a firm action against terrorism and forms interference in countries' affairs. Both leaders also stressed the need to respect countries' independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity in order to serve international peace and security. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain has always been a model in progress, reform, openness, tolerance, coexistence and pluralism. He underscored the Kingdom's unwavering commitment to working with its partners, including France, to promote tolerance and rapprochement between all peoples. He also expressed the Kingdom's resolve to continue the path of development and achievements to achieve the aspirations of the Bahraini people. His Majesty the King reiterated thanks and respect to the French President for the gracious welcome and hospitality, wishing France more progress and prosperity. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met with the French Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs. Jean-Yves Le Drian, and the sidelines of the official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to France. During the meeting, Sheikh Khaled expressed pride in the strong historical Bahraini-French relations, affirming that the visit of His Majesty the King reflects the distinguished level of these relations in the economic, political, security and military fields. He also stressed that this visit reflects the mutual keenness to increase cooperation and strengthen the framework of joint coordination on all matters of interest of the two countries. Sheikh Khalid continued to state that the meeting between His Majesty the King and the French President Emmanuel Macron was positive, as it discussed ways of elevating bilateral relations in addition to exchanging views on regional and international issues. For his part, the French Minister lauded the Bahraini French relations, and the development of these ties continued to witness, reflecting the care that the relations received from both countries. He also expressed appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain for its efforts in preserving security and stability in the region wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. On the sidelines of His Majesty the King's visit to France, a number of agreements of cooperation and MOUs were signed between Bahrain and France. The Bahraini and French governments signed an agreement on training specialist Bahraini doctors in France. The agreement was signed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the French counterpart, Jean-Yves Le Drian. An MOU of cooperation was signed between Bahrain's Higher Education Council and the French Ministry of Higher Education, Research and Innovation. The MOU was signed by the Minister of Education, Dr Majid bin Ali Al-Nuemi, and the French Foreign Minister, Jean-Yves Le Drian. 
An MOU was signed between the Ministry of Education and the French Ministry of Europe and Foreign Affairs for the cooperation in the fields of education. The agreement was signed by the Minister of Education, Dr. Maji Ben Ali Al Noemi, and the French Foreign Minister, Jean Yves Le Drian. An MOU of field of archiving and media training was signed between the Ministry of Information Affairs and the French Audiovisual Media Institute. The agreement was signed by the Minister of Information Affairs, Mr. Ali bin Mohamed Al Rimehi, and the Chairman of the French Audiovisual Institute, Mr. Laurent Fallet. An MOU between the University of Bahrain and the French Ethnose University was signed by the Minister of Education, Dr. Maj bin Ali Al Noemi, and the President of the French University, Yvonne Bilond. On the sidelines of His Majesty King Hamad bin Issa Al Khalifa's visit to France, a number of Bahraini ministers and officials visited the French Louvre Museum, one of the world's greatest historical and cultural sites, which is famous for its legacy that has been derived from different civilizations, cultures and countries. On that occasion, the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, praised the French Museum's initiative in highlighting part of the Arabian Gulf collection and embracing some of its ancient monuments. She signed an agreement with the museum, including a loan of a selection of antiques, which will be displayed first in the Near East Antiquities Department for six months, and then in the permanent exhibition of the department. Under the said agreement, the Authority for Culture and Antiquities agreed to loan a selection of works from the permanent collection of the Bahrain National Museum and the Bahrain Fort Museum for a period of five years. The delegation of King Hamad International Centre for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain Society visit the headquarters of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation, UNESCO, in Paris. The delegation was led by the Board of Trustees Chairman of the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, with the participation of cultural and religious elites representing different religions in Bahrain. The head of the delegation stressed the readiness of the centre to develop means of cooperation with the organisation's projects aimed at serving the communities and improving the efficacy of individuals in scientific and cultural terms. He cited the experience of Bahrain in the field of coexistence and pluralism, which was well received by UNESCO's officials during the meeting. For her part, UNESCO's Chief of Intercultural Dialogue Section, Anne Berlin de Presse, affirmed that the example of a setting of peaceful coexistence among cultures and religions meets the approach pursued by the organisation in an effort to provide the religious and cultural rights for individuals and communities. She noted that Bahrain made a lot of progress, pointing out the diversity between the religions was witnessed through the delegation that attended the headquarters of the organisation. The visit was part of a series of cultural activities and international programmes to convey the experience of Bahrain in the field of peaceful coexistence and tolerance to various countries in the world and benefit its communities, within a vision that emphasises the respect and acceptance of others and under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, played a visit to cleric Sayyid Abdullah Al Gharafi today. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by Al Gharafi, as well as a number of clerics and scores of citizens who welcomed and greeted His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness the Premier underscored that the spirit of brotherhood, cohesion and unity that binds the Bahraini people shall preserve their social fabric and bolster the efforts of developing the country. His Royal Highness stressed that the Bahraini society shall remain guarded against all attempts of division. His Royal Highness the Premier affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is a country for all in regards to the principles of equality, citizenship and national unity. He also affirmed that the government shall spare no effort in meeting the aspirations of the citizens and the provision of a decent living standard. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the clerics' contributions in promoting national action through their constructive role in consolidating the values of tolerance, coexistence and national cohesion, as well as encouraging the community to participate positively in the efforts of the homeland's development. His Royal Highness underlined the importance of cumulative efforts in carrying out the national responsibilities towards maintaining the security and stability of the nation, 
and maintaining its unity and cohesive social fabric. His Royal Highness commended the efforts exerted by Al Gharifi in consolidating unity and supporting government efforts and initiatives that promote community stability and its development. For his part, clerics say that Abdullah Al Gharifi expressed sincere thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his visit that reflects the noble qualities of His Royal Highness, asserting that such meetings will have positive outcomes that shall reflect in the people of Bahrain. Al Gharifi underscored His Royal Highness's key role in serving the nation and boosting people's welfare praying to Allah the Almighty to protect His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Al Gharifi also expressed sincere appreciation to His Majesty the King, stressing the loyalty of the Bahraini people to him. He also extended congratulations to His Royal Highness the Premier on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing Bahrain and his people happy returns. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended 2019 Crown Prince Volleyball Cups final between Al Maharit Club and Al Ahl Club at Isa Sports Cl City. During the awarding ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Issa highlighted His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's support to the Kingdom's sports sector, which has boosted Bahrain's competitiveness on the regional and global stages. His Highness Sheikh Issa also highlighted the wide-ranging efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for charity works in youth affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first deputy of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in advancing Bahrain sports sector. His Highness Sheikh Issa went on to commend the president of the Bahrain Volleyball Federation, the BVF, Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the efforts of the BVF staff for organising such a successful tournament. 
His Highness Sheikh Isa praised the high sportsmanship and professional level shown by both teams, wishing them success in future tournaments and championships. His Highness Sheikh Isa then awarded the 2019 Crown Prince Volleyball Cup to Al Alhi Club, following its win over Maharat Club by three sets to one. عزيز المشاهد شوف الاستقبال هي وين هي وين برافو يا مرهون برافو يا علي يا مرهون حلو حلو للاهلي المحرك متخصص الابداع الخليجي في حين ايضا الاهلي هو متخصص الابداع العربي ببطولتين في حين على مستوى الخليجي عشر بطولات الامور يبدو لي يعني شبه محسومه لمصلحه الاهلي وان كان لا يوجد شيء يسمى مضمون في كره الطائره يا سادر في خطا فعلا في خطا فعلا المره هذه على 50 دقيقه بين الابداع والامتاع والاقناع The Shura Council Chairman, Ali Bin Saleh Asale, affirms appreciation for the efforts of those who work on supporting legislative work is a national duty for their efforts in supporting the democratic process and the process of national action. During the Labour Day celebration, he praised the efforts of the members of the General Secretariat and providing quality supporting services for the members of the Shura Council, which is characterised by high professionalism and the quality of performance. Asali pointed out that the national competencies and cadres working in the General Secretariat of the Council have proved their efficiency and their ability to assume national responsibility and provide support to the members. He appreciated the role played by the staff who have spent many years working in the Council and their keenness to invest their experience and practical skills to achieve the success for the Shura Council. For his part, the Shura Council Secretary General Usam Ahmed Al Asfor expressed pride in the patronage of the Shura Council Chairman and his keenness in patronising the Labour Day celebration, noting his support for the General Secretariat. The Shura Council Secretary General then awarded a number of General Secretariat employees and retirees. <laughs> 